So you winning, body fine, need a mitten If I fuck up, then forgiven I was dead on relationships, you made me feel like living I'ma stand on a business, cause I I got more time in your plans for what's all the supply All I need for you to do is never fold and don't lie I felt like you was the one when I had looked in your eyes Open the door, she seen a ghost, and we should go take a ride Doing the most, don't ever post, don't let them see what we got We're on the boat, enjoy the coast, she let me get right inside Just you Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. If you're with me for the first time, hi, my name is Stacia and welcome to this side of YouTube. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe if this is your first time watching a video of mine. So as you can see by the title, it's going to be a weekly vlog. I'm currently headed to work, but I wanted to open up the vlog because my weeks have been so busy yet so mundane at the same time but opening up the vlog now so it's better late than never after work today i'm going to be headed into tokyo for my laser hair appointment so i'll check in with you guys then in, in the meantime in between time let me get to this job okay i'll see you guys later Hey guys, leaving work and headed, well I left work, I'm headed to, this looks cute, headed to Starbucks to upload last week's vlog right now because whenever I do videos in 4K like uploading it on my Wi-Fi at home, headache so i'm gonna to go to starbucks do that and then head to my laser hair appointment so let's go I left Starbucks because, um, wait, am I doing the right way? Yeah, I left Starbucks because the video was uploaded fast enough and my appointment is in like seven minutes. So, I have to go try again when I'm leaving the appointment. It's cold as fuck. Excuse my language, but it is cold as hell. Like Japan totally skipped over fall and went straight into winter like i don't know wait wrong direction yeah so we didn't get fall we got one week of fall and then that was that was it 
I'm going to head to the spot that I'm supposed to go to. Last time I went to Shibuya, this time I'm in Roppongi apparently. Today I'm not just doing my face, I'm also doing my bikini area. It looks like a nice spot. Yes, I'm doing my bikini area as well. Um, and apparently they said that the machine that works best on my skin is in Roppongi. But the thing is, the one that the, the session I had before, I'm pleased with the results so far. I didn't break out or anything, um, and I've had very little, to, little to no growth. So I'm excited about the progress so far. So hopefully they can get my bikini line in in good shape because the trip gotta be tripping. I'm trying to navigate and talk to you guys. I think I'll go across here. Yeah. So hopefully they can get me right because i want to be in bikinis and i want to feel confident while i'm in the bikini on this trip um it's 39 days to go before the trip so i'm excited about that um, I, just, I wish my face was acting right then everything would be in formation sorry anyways guys so i'm gonna head to the spot now um chances are going to see a b-roll next Hello. As you can see, I'm in my apartment. It is Thursday. What a day. What a day, what a day, what a day. So I sat at my desk today, did nothing because the students were having exams, but I did manage to, I brought my laptop to work because I already knew what the day was gonna give. Um, so I went to the library, did some editing for this vlog. Guys, let me know in the comment section below if you guys have noticed a difference in the way that i've been editing i've been i uh, like trying out new editing style to kind of see if i like it hopefully you guys like it as well 
Um, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to switch things up. Another thing is, I want. I really want to see if I could for the coming year at least. I don't want to put any, anything more on my plate. My plate is full for the rest of the year, as it relates to finances. Next year, one of the things I really want is to invest in a new camera. This camera is okay, but I feel like the quality of videos I want to produce moving forward in next, um, for starting next year or sometime next year, I want crisper, cleaner visuals. I like my camera. I'm appreciative of the content I've been able to make on this camera, but I just want something. I've been watching that this girl, I think her name is Beautifully Cindy. Cindy cindy i love the way she edits like in terms of editing style her sunday love and uh, shelly i am shelly i really like the way those three content creators create content especially beautiful cindy like it is just cinematic and the quality on the camera is very crisp and clear this is all right and the crazy thing is whenever i'm editing on my laptop I feel like the, the, the video looks nice but then sometimes I don't know if it's me but when I'm watching it back on like YouTube or whatever I feel like the quality isn't translating something is lo getting lost in translation so that's part of the reason why I have been exporting my my content in 4k and uploaded it in 4k with the hopes that that will increase like the quality that's being produced because YouTube isn't a job for me because I don't get paid but I am a creative person and this for me is my creative outlet. In addition to that, it is a way that I escape life, if that makes sense. I've always been a creative person. I've, when I was younger, it was writing. Now it's content creation. Either way, I've always been good at telling stories, in my opinion. That's part of the reason why I excelled in English and English literature. I've always had a very active imagination from ever since I was a child. So, like, this for me is telling a story and I enjoy telling stories. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about investing in a new camera. Japan is a good country to be in when it comes down to wanting a new camera because this camera that, we're, that I'm talking to right now is... I bought it here, I bought it secondhand, and I got it at a much cheaper price than I would if I were to get it somewhere else, right? Because Japan, I think Canon is made in Japan, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm, I'm looking in, I'm going to start looking into like some investment. I'm going to start looking into cameras um, for the upcoming year because I really want to elevate the way in which I create and capture content for you guys. But also, if somebody wants to sponsor me for my birthday coming up, you know, give me half the money or whatever, I ain't saying no to that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's something I have with have in mind to do. What else did I come on here to tell you about? Yeah, that was pretty much it. I was just checking in with you guys. Hope that you guys are still, you know, here with me. If you made it this far in the video, leave a sunflower. If you made it this far in the video, um yeah i'm going to go lay down right now because my knees are killing me i should probably put the ointment on my foot and uh, take my pills before i go into the bed i also need to brush my teeth so i'm probably going to be seeing you guys tomorrow more than likely yeah my apartment right now smells of fabulosa and bleach because i had to come home because y'all know i work two jobs you know what i'm saying so I don't have a day where I can clean so I have to like make this up small sacrifices and do all my chores in increments so today it was take out the garbage sweep and wipe the apartment that had to be done because it just had to be done tomorrow it's going to be laundry and meal prep um, I'm not sure I'm going to do all three loads of laundry that I typically do. I'm probably going to do like the biggest load, which is probably my black clothes or my colored clothes. Yeah, because, oh, I need to, my gym clothes, I need to wash my gym clothes because I checked my gym stash and we're running very, 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 very low. We're, no, we can't have that because it's crunch time. By the way, I know I said I was going to go to bed, but by the way. The way my body been snatching up. <laughs> Look here. 
it said my 30th birthday comes around because my aim is to enter my 30th with in the best shape I've ever been. I need to fix these knees. That's the first thing I need to do. But let me tell you, say, listen, I plan on looking good for my trip in December. I think I'm well on the way. It's not going to be, my body's not going to be where I want it to be. But we're definitely getting there. And I feel like taking the berberin has helped me a lot. Especially when it comes down to losing belly fat. I don't know if ever come up on here. So I talk about belly fat, belly fat, belly fat, belly fat, belly fat. And I've been losing it. I, I do have a couple more inches to go. But I feel like we're heading in the right direction. I'm between now and December when I'm leaving. I'm excited to see where else I can take this journey as it relates to getting my body in shape. It's a race between me and the clock. And listen, I really, really am putting in the work because I left my part-time job and I went to the gym. That's how much dedication I've been putting into this shit. And you know I'm saying, and tomorrow again, we're going to the gym. So that's four times this week that I've gone to, the, that I'm going to go to the gym. And next week, definitely four times because I'm off Thursday. So we're not, we're not miss nothing. And Wednesday, oh, Wednesday I have my physiotherapy next week. So, probably not going to go do anything after physio because, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to talk to you guys tomorrow. Make sure I see you on the other side. Because I'm, I'm going to be over there. So, talk to you tomorrow. Okay, boom. hey guys it is friday i am back home from work i didn't go to the gym today because my knees have been acting up especially my right knee i'm currently in some excruciating pain right now and today would have been a leg day and i decided you know i'm not gonna do that to myself let me go home try and rest and start again on monday i need to also take some painkillers as we speak because my knees are really hurting Anyways, came home, got a package from Amazon, uh, ordered this two days ago, or a day and a half ago. One thing about Amazon Japan, it's a bit pricier to me with certain things because it's just pricier, right? And it definitely does not have the variety that American Amazon, the American Amazon has. I ordered some Epsom salt because I plan on having. Oh, it's nice! It comes with the scoop thing here. I do plan on having like a self self love day. I think I'm gonna do that on the day I have time off from work. So Thursday, I'm gonna make it like a relaxation day at home and try to get as much as many things done as possible. Um, I also bought this anti-fog mirror so I can do my skincare routine in the mirror. If you're interested, I'll try to leave the links below. If I forget to do so, feel free to comment and remind me because I have a lot of things going on. I also went to the supermarket and the dollar store. I got some garbage bags as well as some new kitchen towels. Um, at the supermarket i got some blueberries i got some bananas uh pumpkin which i'm going to use right now because i'm going to be making pumpkin rice as well as do some chicken um margarine gonna need that for my rice this is like a little snack i'm going to have right now so i can cook and i also got some in jamaica we call them stillion I think the Americans call them green onions, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so that's everything that I got. What I'm going to do... Oh, I also got flowers. Hold on. I got flowers. I bought flowers. It's been a minute since I bought flowers. I've told myself I would buy it weekly, but that hasn't worked out. The thing with me is, if I don't write it down on my list... It's not gonna be bought if i don't buy it, if it's not on my list my, my my budget or my grocery list for the week i'm not gonna buy it so i went into the store today and they're like oh shoot i told myself i was gonna buy flowers so i just headed over to the flower section 
got myself some flowers these are really nice so i'm gonna put these in water but before i do anything i really want to season my chicken because i want it to get some amount of i want it to marinate as much as possible ideally i would have done this the day before or two days before but y'all know my schedule well you guys should know right now that i work a lot so it's not always like I don't always get to do what I want to do as it relates to cooking. So I call my cooking these days the lazy girl cooking because I'm just in and out of the kitchen because I ain't got time. It is currently 5.32 right now. I'm trying to get as many things done as possible before 8. That's the latest. I should be done with everything meal prep, eating showering everything and i want to be in bed by eight um and hopefully be asleep by nine because i am tired so i'm going to cook and i'm going to do a voiceover for the cooking portion of the video because someone dm'd me and they're like um can we get a recipe for the chicken so i don't know how many of you guys are interested in like my cooking like i said if i'm cooking jamaican food it's not going to be all the way authentic primarily because I'm not in Jamaica. I don't have access to the same things I would if I were in Jamaica here. Do my hands look toned? Anyways, I don't have access to all the things I would. Um, and I don't always have the ingredients I need on me at that time. So I just make do with the things that I have. So the voiceover will give you a step by step as it relates to how I get the chicken that I did um, and if you're interested in the pumpkin rice too I'm pretty sure some people may not have heard of it if you're Jamaican then that's that's a common thing in Jamaican culture I don't think it's a popular thing amongst people outside of Jamaica they aren't aware that we kind of do a pumpkin rice kind of thing I'll probably leave that in there as well but I'll do a voiceover just so you guys can get an idea of how I get the prepare the meals that I prepare I think that would be much easier for me because if i'm talking while i'm cooking that slows me down ain't nobody got time for that you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna go ahead and put the the, the groceries away season the chicken and then we're gonna get into the whole cooking thing so let me get rid of the let me put these in some water and get started so let's do that Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now, baby. I took a half and she took the whole thing. Slow down, baby. We took a trip, now we on your block, and it's like a ghost town, baby. Where did these niggas be at when they said they doing all this and all that? Tired of beefing you bums, you can't even pay me enough to react. Been waking up in the crib, but sometimes I don't even know where I'm at. Please don't pay that nigga songs in this party, I can't even listen to it. Anytime that I run into somebody, it must be a victory lap, ayy Shawty come sit on my lap, ayy They say I'm crazy, just snap This in between us is not like a store, this isn't a closable gap, ayy Hey guys, over so this portion of the video, I'm going to do a voiceover to kind of give you guys a walkthrough as it relates to recipes because I know that some people may be interested. If you're not, feel free to skip ahead. What I'm going to be doing in this clip, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make the pumpkin rice. This is a recipe that I grew up on. It's something I enjoy having, especially with some good curry chicken. If you're Jamaican and you've had this before, let me know. So basically, the first couple of clips were not recorded. Something is wrong with my memory card. But basically, on a stove, I put uh, water as well as coconut milk, butter, salt to taste, as well as spring onion so here as you can see i'm also grating my pumpkin this is not the if you're american this is not the typical pumpkin that you'd find in your supermarket 
I'm not sure where you guys would get this in the States, but I think the Asian supermarket may be somewhere you'd get this. If you're Jamaican or Japan, you're living in Japan, this is something you can easily find in any of the supermarkets. As far as this recipe goes, once you've added the pumpkin, you're going to allow the water to come to a boil. And once that is done, then you're going to add your rice. I'm using basmati rice and you may be wondering what I'm doing right now. I was a little bit annoyed with the process of grating my pumpkin. So I decided to cut it in chunks. Um, so once it comes to a boil and the pumpkin is fully cooked, then I went in, looked for the chunks of pumpkin and crushed them because I didn't want there to be any big clumps in the rice so that's basically what I'm doing once that is done then I would cover the pot with the lid and allow for the rice to cook okay guys so now that the rice is fully on the way I'm going to prepare the chicken which is the recipe that I was asked about um, so unfortunately the beginning portion of the clips were not I was not able to recover them because my memory card has been acting a fool so basically you wash and clean your chicken the way you normally would and then you go in with your seasoning so for this particular recipe I don't have any measurements to give you guys I'm sorry um, my ancestors guide me when it comes down to measurements but for this I, I added some jerk seasoning some chili seasoning as well as some chicken masala and as you can see here I'm adding some olive oil I'm going to put this in the air fryer and and by doing this I want to make sure that the seasoning is sticking on to the meat as you can see as well I already went ahead and cut the chicken just so that it can lay a little bit flatter in the air fryer and I'm going to massage this again ideally you want to do this at least an hour before you're going to be cooking time is not something I have so I'm going to season it allow it to marinate for 15 minutes or less um, again do what you need to do feel free to add more seasonings of your liking less is more sometimes I feel like as black people we feel like we need to have five six seven kinds of seasoning we really don't need that many seasonings to be honest um once it's well seasoned with the right combination and i'm saying how how ironic that i'm saying that <laughs> no i know i'm adding a little bit more jerk chicken seasoning if you're jamaican you already know maggie is the shit so yeah i'm going to season it and then add it to my air fryer it's really nothing special so this is what it's giving right now easy peasy lazy girl style she said <laughs> all of my bitches got friends yeah. <laughs> all of my bitches got friends and they bad, they bad, so we're good, it's enough for the clean <laughs> Word. All of my bitches got friends You don't need to pick no, all of my bitches Look, got I ain't really gotta rap about it, I just talk about it Cause I live it now So let me tell you about this PYT that I seen last week I had to take a bow Five two with a brown fur and a head tied with a light eyes and She would make me throw it all the way for a fun time and a right prize Bad as fuck, ass fatter than a hammer truck Ask her probably keep my hammer tucked The type of slide I'm down and then the penny stuck I run a mug, wanna kick it with ya Get a house and a pick it with ya Hop up on your at your workplace, not your birthday Just to let them niggas know I'm building with ya Your best friend always coming through with them I call they cook them when you're home alone And I ain't even trying to dog you out But can you feed a nigga just a little bone? One of you, one of me, you and me We make three or maybe four And just two more just to even score Step two, I had to play chess Had to hit her with the full press Then I told her I'd do anything just to chat with her for a quick set Let it sit, let it process Then she put the shit, so I guess Whisper this shit, yeah. told her baby I won't let you know you're more sex, got right? friends Yeah all of my bitches got friends And they bad, they bad, 
that's all we got, it's enough for the click <laughs> Word. All of my bitches got friends <laughs> You don't need to pick No, all of my bitches got friends All of my women got friends Most of them black with a blend most of them off on the ends, and they don't care who they offend. Look, I had a girl who was tatted up from the neck down, she was super crazy. Met a shorty with an ill grandma who would fight a lot, and she had 90s, baby. Complain about me, y'all was on the road and talked to other women, and she wanted babies. Had to shake it like a common cold, then I had a show, and then I saw your baby. Then I book it, now we texting back to back to back to back with no indication. Now I'm flying to you, taking you across the world to see a couple different faces. Hood nigga dreams, fuck like movie scenes. Hit it from the back, boost your self esteem. Heard you left to visit cousin them Reconnect them with your mama now Now you want me to fly to Sweden Have to fly you to the motherland You was mine and I am yours And you to mine when I'm going to I ain't really trying to play no games I can win the battle, you can win the war I'm just trying to fucking love you Either on the bed and we can take you to the floor Crazy as this all started down Cause I saw something that I can't ignore All my bitches got friends Yeah All of my bitches got friends and they bad, they bad, so we're good, it's enough for the click <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All of my bitches got Hey guys, I am finally finished with the cooking and everything Except for the fact that after I'm finished eating, I'm going to have to wash dishes again um, But yeah, that's basically it for the meal preparation i was having some difficulty with my memory card um i would be filming and then when i looked down that the camera was no longer recording and it was saying memory card error so a few of the clips you won't be able to see um kind of nothing about that but i will say that the rice the rice and the chicken i mean the chicken is all right i'm gonna be honest like the chicken it's all right it's not bad by any means i don't cook bad food <laughs> but if i had seasoned it and allowed it to marinate from the night before it would have been hitting but the two cut together chef kiss and I actually finished when I said I was going to finish this now 7.43 I am going to finish eating I'm also going to crawl into bed And I'm going to edit this vlog because I want to go to There's a um, Starbucks across from my part-time job So I want to go and upload the video on the wi-fi over there after works so i need in order to do so i need to finish editing this vlog which i think i can do because i've already edited up to yesterday i'm already halfway through my editing so i only have to edit last night's clip and the content that i that i um filmed today hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog um so far i have enjoyed editing it I'm telling you guys that this pumpkin rice with the coconut milk and the butter, it's hitting. It's really hitting. Um, but yeah, that's all I had to say. You guys are probably wondering why she's still in. You know what? I, what I've been realizing, especially with this blows, I've edited so many videos with myself in this top, and people must be saying. And I'm not close. Like I'm the type of person when I wash and fold laundry, I just put it on top. So what happens is whenever I, I'm after I've done showered and I'm looking for something to wear, me I'm not gonna dig. I'm not gonna dig. Whatever is on top, that's what I'm gonna wear. So because of that, I end up wearing the same things over and over, and then they're clothes that months go by and I never wear until. I said to myself, you know, let me switch it up. But that's basically why you would probably see me in the same top over and over again. Or the same kind of clothes over and over again. Because if I wash it and put it on top, chances are I'm not going to dig deeper than what I see. I'm just going to grab the first top I see. Grab the first bottom I see. Put on clothes. I'm inside. 
I don't really care like that. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right now. Do I look ashy? If I look ashy, oh, sh I'm, I, I haven't moisturized or anything. So I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos. I love you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.